da 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 oh, oh. da 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 until he met the one woman who threatened to swipe his player card, Georgia Sandifer. The beautiful dancer captivated him from the moment he laid eyes on her. It didn't take long for the friends with benefits to migrate into an unconventional relationship, laced with a little bit of toxicity. Feelings developed, and neither wants to come clean until Georgia has had enough. The concept of giving a man her heart has always been foreign. To Georgia Sandifer. Seeing the effects of heartbreak on her mother made Georgia vow to never give a man that kind of power over her until she met Walker Giroux. In him, she found a best friend and lover. Try as she might, she couldn't fight the growing feelings for a man she was never su- supposed to form an attachment to. When those feelings surface, Georgia is faced with the harsh reality that Walker will never be the man she wants. She cut ties with him. But Walker can't seem to let her go. Realizing that he may have more feelings than he wanted to admit has him fighting to get back in her good graces. Will these two embrace the feelings between them? Or is it a done deal? Hey, mommy, what's up, player? If you don't know that song, you're too young to be listening to me. (laughs) So anyway, so let's get started. I believe this story starts where they are, I believe they are at Cartel's house. If I'm not mistaken, it's Cartel, Adina, and then Georgia and Walker. And I think Olivia's there too with James. It's like couples night or whatever. And at first everything was cool. Everybody was having a good time. But Georgia makes the statement of she finna put Walker to the side and find her somebody that actually wants her. So they constantly did that back and forth thing where it's like, you're not really going nowhere. You don't really want no man. But Georgia, like, she kind of get in her feelings. And she walk away to go in the kitchen and all the women follow her. And his brother's looking at him like, you better stop playing with that girl before she cut you off for real. And Walker not paying him no attention. He's like, man, I'm not studying her. We both said we not looking for no relationship. So, you know, I'm not studying that. And they're like, all right. So she come back in and says that her sister is going to take her home. He like, you mad for real? And she's just like, I'll see you later. So he's starting to realize that she wants something more. But, like I said, he's still stuck in that. We said we're not doing that. We're not looking for nothing. I'm not looking to be tied down. You said the same thing. And any nigga you try to have in your face, I'm going to put that nigga in the dirt. So she's like, whatever. I'm not going to keep wasting my time on you. And I know what I said, but I've changed my mind. Like, I want something else. And so it gets to the point where they're doing the back and forth thing, doing the back and forth thing. And she cuts him off for real. He like, you really doing this? And they'll do the thing where they wouldn't talk to each other. Then they have sex again. You know, that back and forth type of thing. And she's like, no, I want something solid. And she realizes that she she wouldn't even say it out loud, but like low-key loves him. So it was that type of thing. But she's like... I fell in love with somebody that don't love me back, don't want this with me, so I got to go find it in somebody else. And so then it becomes this toxic ch- child. It really got on my nerves. I ain't even going to lie to you. I was like, and after reading book two, then to come to book, I'm like, why the fuck is y'all playing games out here with each other like this? And so... At some point, Georgia, she does find another man. He whines and dines her, tells her he's single. He ain't got no kids. He's all about her. He just wants her. And she was doing petty shit in front of Walker to make him feel some type of way. And Walker tells her, like, this dude ain't who you think he is. Like, you really need to cut him off. But she's like, no, you just jealous. You just ain't trying to see me happy. I ain't trying to hear you. Lo and behold, because it was a little troop to that. 
But also Walker was right because old boy was married and he had a baby. Like the wife had just had a baby. So when she shows up to his house, she hear yelling inside the house. And when she knocks on the door, he comes to the door like, baby, this really ain't a good time right now. And the wife is like, you calling this bitch baby? And it's like, hold on now. I didn't know about you. I'm just finding out about you. If you mad, you got every right to be mad. But if you mad at that nigga, don't be mad at me. And don't be calling me out my name. And so, you know, George just spills the tea. Like, he told me he didn't have a woman. You know, he was single. All that type of shit. And the wife is going through the house tearing up his shit. And so she goes to leave. And he's trying to follow behind her. And the wife is like, nigga, are you serious? And he's like, you know, I'll talk to you later. Georgia, like, if you don't lose my fucking number, you ain't gonna never talk to me again, nigga. So, you know. Then she goes back to Walker, like, you know, you were right about the situation. I apologize for basically trying to play in your face and do all the shit that I was doing. And he has to admit that he wants to be with her, like, official, no more games, no nothing. It's like, we really gonna do this? We're really doing this. And so it's the burial of a player. They done playing games and they're finally going to be in an official relationship. Because I believe what Jameson and Olivia are married. They had another baby. Carter and Adina are engaged. I forgot to mention that in the last episode. And now these two are just going forward in an official relationship and they'll see where it goes. They're still kind of dragging their feet. And I'm just like, first of all, y'all are the oldest ones, our second to oldest ones out of the bunch. Why the hell are y'all playing with each other? But, you know, got to give players time to really, you know, express their feelings and stop playing games and not run to somebody else and just let that be what it is. So, yeah, that's all I got for this. I'll see you guys next episode. Peace and blessings, my beautiful people.